right, today we are going to discuss uh, an important question, and that is, is it possible to live a life where your animal soul is totally transformed and not have any challenges? We're going to look in this week's Torah portion, Parshas Lech Lecha, to see if we can glean an answer to that very important question. In this week's Torah portion, Parshas Lech Lecha, takes place a historic and important piece of history for the Jewish people and for the world at large to see the way God promises Abraham to him and his descendants, the land of Israel. And God is very specific where he points out the exact boundaries of the land of Israel, which takes place from the Egyptian uh, river until the Euphrates. And then God specifically says that it's the land that's occupied by ten nations, namely, Keni Knizi Kadmoni, Chiti Haprizi Harafayim, Emori Knani Hagigoshi Vayavusi. These ten nations that occupied the land at that time, we were going to conquer the land, drive out the ten nations, then we will have the land that God gave us as a gift from God to the Jewish people. Now we find something very interesting. These ten nations, only seven did we conquer, take out of the land, occupy the part of the land that these seven nations lived in. The other three nations, namely, where Ammon is, Moab, and Edom, which is on the other side of the Jordan, we did not conquer. So the Rebbe asked the question, if God promised us the land of Israel, where all these ten nations occupied, why is it that we only conquered part where seven were versus where the other three were we never conquered? And the Rebbe says, we will conquer it when the Messiah comes. So the question is, why didn't we conquer it all at once? So the Rebbe explains a fascinating idea, and he says that these ten nations correspond to the ten Svirot, namely the three intellectual Svirot, Chachma, Bina, and Das, known as Chabad, and the other seven, Chesed, Gevura, Tiferes, Netzach, Hod, Yisod, and Malchut, the seven emotional Svirot, which go under the basket of the practical level of your love and your awe of God. So the Rebbe explains as follows. The godly soul has all ten spherot. The animal soul has ten spherot. Our gift from God was the ability that we will be able to conquer our animal soul and that our animal soul will be able to transform itself and also worship God. But the Rebbe says as much as we try to transform our animal soul, we will have the power until the Messiah comes to transform the emotional part, the love and the fear of the animal soul, that it should have a love and fear for God. However, the intellect, that it should have full comprehension, the animal soul should appreciate God, that will not happen until the Messiah comes. So hence, that is the reason why in reality, practically, we were never able to conquer the other three nations, Ammon, Moab, and Edom, because that full transformation of the intellect, which represents the intellect of the animal soul, will not happen until the Messiah comes. Thank you so much for joining us for our weekly uh, Torah lesson. If you'd like to continue pursuing your Torah studies, we have live classes here at Chabad Lubavitch of South East Florida, 5620 Winkler Road in Fort Myers. There's a great Parsha class given by my wife, Nahami, Thursday at 11 o'clock. There's also an uh, in-depth Kabbalistic class based on the teachings of the Arizal, Thursday evening at 7.30 for one hour. We also have a very, very in-depth class Saturday morning in Kabbalah at 9 o'clock, followed by services and the Kiddush, and you can get to meet the whole community. Looking forward to seeing you. Shabbat Shalom and have a great week. It's Steinomite.